Don't you like those little ribbons that people put on their cars? That helps support you troops? Yeah, uh, I mean, because they spent, you know, $2 on a Made in China ribbon, and, you know, that's saying, let's support the troops. You know, they want to go to Iraq. You know, let's not try and bring them home or anything, you know. Let's let them be deployed on eight consecutive tours of one year apiece, and so that they don't even have time to recoup mentally. You know, it takes at least three years just to recoup from my own personal experience of what I was dealing with. And so if you're going on your sixth tour, like you're going to be permanently disabled to some extent. Like some people are very able to cope with the things they probably dealt with, but I don't, I would say on average that if you do one tour, you know, it's actually been uh, standard procedure that when you did one tour, you were done and you never had to go back again. And so where did we lose that? Uh, concept. How, how did we lose that? Anyway, that's... I have no idea. Curious. And so I know that that seemed to be the case uh, with the other events that have been going Maybe on throughout been, uh, history. Maybe they've been paying people more money or attempting to give them more benefits, but something to get them to come back more? Is that maybe what As far doing? as people coming back, it was about 95% of the people I was around had, had figured it out that it was an agenda that's being pushed and that we're not there to actually help anybody. And so the people who do and re-enlist, like some are just adrenaline junkies and uh, to get your fix or whatever reasons they have, maybe they want to support their family, and some people don't have a choice. But who logically would want to drive around being a IED magnet? Because they have it down to a science. I don't know who taught these people how to do this, but all you, they do is place you know, 100 pounds of explosives next to a road connected to a cell phone. They call the other cell phone, and there goes five people blown up in a Humvee. Mm -hmm. And so it's funny because all the, you know, so-called toys of, let's say, Donald Rumsfeld, he wouldn't put his uh, special forces there because they've already tucked tail and fucking left, and now we're just hamburger meat out there getting blown, you know, fucked up every day. And so you they know, don't... important enough to have one of those huge... You know, boat looking like uh, anti roadside. The whole point device. is they want people to get killed because then that sells more equipment, more bombs, and they need to justify the expenditure. Ah. And so it's mathematics. It's so all it if is. Nobody dies at all. Let's say they. Well, have if the Iraqi months, people greeted you know, us with bouquets of flowers, and do you realize that the we were in northern Iraq, which largely Kurd Kurdish population. There's five different ethnic groups in Iraq. So uh, Saddam Hussein was loyal to the Arab population, so the rest of the population actually welcomed us, and they treated us like celebrities for the first six months we were there. I could show you pictures of my fellow uh, people from my company actually signing autographs, and I actually felt like a celebrity, and it, I got to the point where I was so annoyed of people trying to thank me that I seemed to... I was actually rude to them Taking at it some negatively. point. Yes. And so it wasn't until we were there that nine, nine months that finally I realized that uh, this was getting more and more dangerous because we saw the evolution of the IED. And now, like I said, all the dead terrorists are gone because there was a flaw in their technique and they've been wiped out. So and it's funny because we don't know where these people came from but we got hit this one night, and it seemed the technology, like their technique was something we had never seen before. So it seemed as if they had almost came up from out of town. Uh, where before the IEDs were connected on a wire, and you could see the wire and then just go in there and arrest everybody in the house. Uh, oh, really? It, it seemed hmm. like they had made a quantum leap. Now, who taught them how to do that, or where did they learn to do that? Uh, I think just that not enough people were getting killed. And so uh, there's no reason for an army to be there really? unless there's a so-called so, danger. But see, we've created the danger because we've managed to piss so many people off there, especially the way I drove. Like, uh, it's almost a sporting event. You just check out any of the YouTube footage, and I was ten times worse. Like, uh, Are you kidding me? It makes you feel guilty because, uh, you know, 95% of those people... Uh, are just like you or me, and we could be in their situation too. And yes, there's a couple. Now, 
Hey, so I understand the United States government makes sure you're in that frame of mind at the time, are you not? Well, yeah, you grow up watching all these you don't you know, videos where somebody with a towel on their head is just like going to blow themselves up. And, well, and wait a minute. They don't show you these videos. You mean videos you saw yourself on well, YouTube, you watch, maybe? They've been or orchestrating. No. This has been planned for a long time. Uh, you realize they didn't finish the first Gulf War for a reason because they planned to have a second conflict in the Middle East. Really? It, well, it just makes basic sense. Well, and, everyone always and wondered, so my generation think, why grew did they up... ever finish that war? Didn't they? Well, we can't wondered. make money off of that. Like, okay, that's just like, how come they haven't found uh, what, oh. Obama? No, Osama? See, Osama bin Laden. They have not found him, coincidentally. I'm He's just disappeared. We can't find him. You know, we're the most sophisticated equipment yeah. ever devised and we cannot find do, a guy hiding in a cave and when you do your research and no and it's like where in the world is waldo where in the world is osama bin laden I and mean, we just magically yeah, put well, him and now where is he he is in what who's it makes me now? disgusted it makes me disgusted no okay um, and, and when i do my research on it i find that we've let him go we had him even if let's say he wasn't all the time in our custody but even if he wasn't then there was times that we had him cornered and we let him go is that not correct haven't you heard that? Well, yeah. I mean, there's no reason to be in Afghanistan if we found bin Laden, right? I mean, other than for the drugs, and coincidentally, opium production has gone up over 2,000% since now there, we... There's and another How point. many pictures are there of troops? Now, I haven't been to now, Afghanistan, but... It's disgusting me. There's pictures of them in an opium... They're standing there yeah, next yeah, to somebody, opium troops. making money off of okay? the drugs. Is that just so, a, a picture opportunity, or is this, this is really happening? This is fucking really happening, is it not? Yeah, and yeah, I, I don't know I, enough about Every time I see a photograph of our troops or troops with an American flag of some kind that is standing next to a poppy field, you tell me that they're not protecting opium fields. What the hell? Our government is obviously running this or something. Well, you know, if, if I were... They get busted with thousands of pounds of cocaine, a plane goes down, and nothing happens. All right, well... Nobody yeah, gets in trouble. Those are all good points, but I can comment from what I saw in Iraq, and I know that they found a whole dump truck full of gold bars, and there had to have been at Wait least... Wait a minute, whoa. 